We stop, have a bit of um, food, try and get ourselves. My stomach is rumbling all the time. And I'm, st I'm starving, I'm feeling quite tired. I just don't want to do anything. I don't want to drive anymore. We're now at midday. Hopefully, there's not going to be two more of these updates to go. But the fuel range is saying 435 miles. I don't even know where we are in the country in terms of miles up to Edinburgh and miles that we've already done. All I know is we're at junction 45 and it says Oatley and we 
Leeds. I know that we've gone past York and Leeds. I know that we've gone past York and Leeds. Time for an unfortunate check-in at half past one. We have been going uh, probably for about 45 minutes in the wrong direction. <laughs> Can you believe it? And we found traffic. Um, it's all going wrong. We've had to put the sat nav on in my car for the first time. Um, basically, the two main roads fork off, one to the straight up and one to the right, and we've carried on going right. Too focused on how many miles to the gallon we were doing and how much time and how much how many miles we've got left. We found traffic, we were too indulged in how many miles we had left that we forgot that we were going off to Newcastle. One minute later, we've had a discussion off camera and realized that we're not so badly off route. We're actually um, just confusing ourselves looking at the maps. So I think it's the tiredness that's getting to our head more than anything. Woo. Angel of the North, never seen it before. and we are moving a bit more freely, 50 miles an hour. It's saying that we're 113 miles away from Edinburgh or our destination. And if I get my thing up, 320 miles left of fuel. We've still got mm, a little bit under three quarters of a tank, but not much more. Uh, interesting to go past Newcastle and see Angel of the North prequel. Cool. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We got a cracking view. <laughs> of trees. So we're 92 miles away and as you can see from here we're in a tiny sleepy village up in the north somewhere no idea where we are but we're 92 miles away and I'm, we're beginning to question how this can be the road into Edinburgh whether we have taken a wrong turn or not the sat nav is telling us the way to go we're going through a speed camera all, I th I hope we haven't got caught. We were doing like 35, slammed on my brakes when we went around the corner. There was a hidden speed camera, which um, scared the life out of me. So I'm praying that there's no speeding ticket in the post, but we're doing, we're doing 25 miles an hour and we've got 91 miles left. My fuel range is now saying 280 miles. If we've got, an, if we've got like 90 miles of this, which is an hour and a half driving, going to be a slow end to what I thought was going to be a very very easy win for me but that um, serves me right for getting ahead of myself another another village 20 mile an hour bend this can't be the quickest way to Edinburgh from London We'd, we've got lost somewhere and the sat nav is um, fixing our wrongs fixing our wrongdoings but we're going through no animals in the park like does everyone in this town have like animals as pets like walking around with goats this is surely this is surely the wrong way we're stuck on a country road three o'clock in the afternoon 67 miles away from Edinburgh the slowest last 30 miles I've ever experienced we're now stuck at like some road work traffic lights on a country lane, losing the will to live. Oh, but here we go, here we go, we're moving, we're moving. We did get stuck behind a tractor as well, but it quickly turned off. Um, are we going? It's the first red light, oh my God. Three-way control. How is it possible to have, uh, it's probably one coming back the other way for cars and then one left and right for animals. You can imagine the sheep and cows just waiting at this side of the bushes for the green light to go. I can imagine that that's probably what happened. To it. <laughs> it's now four o'clock. <laughs> like, <laughs> absolutely shattered. 22 miles away from Edinburgh. 210 miles left on the fuel range. And the weather has just been non-stop persistent downpour. There's, like, we've just been on single carriage country lanes, the 
the spray's been awful. The, the water's going over to the road and it's just, it's just spraying up. There's just huge plumes of water coming off from the car in front. Luckily, there is a car in front. Otherwise, I wouldn't know where the puddles are and I don't know the road. But we're in Scotland, we're 22 miles away from Edinburgh. I can almost smell victory, but I'm so tired and the, the, we have just taken the ultimate back road to, to Scotland. It's tiring, put it that way. We stopped at about half past 11 in Huddersfield and we're now just south of Edinburgh. So we had a, we've had a good old run. The car's done me more than proud. Brilliant, brilliant fuel economy. Can't believe it. We've, well, now we're coming up to a dual carriageway. This is the first dual carriageway that we've had in I don't know how long. Well over 100 miles. It's been single carriage for 100 miles. We're going to have one more update, or maybe we're just going to do the arriving because it's 4 o'clock and it's saying that we're going to arrive at 430 so I'm absolutely shattered. I thought this video was gonna be a lot more intense than the nervousness of arriving with 20 miles of fuel left. I thought that was what was gonna keep me going, but because it's just been so easy, we're on 200 miles. The final check-in, the sat-nav is telling us to turn off the M9. We have 190 miles on the fuel range, we've just dipped below the half mile range, check it out, okay. there we go, so there we go, nine hours driving, one stop, a lot of eco driving, and we've made it, we've made it to Edinburgh, the hotel is somewhere, there's a McDonald's there, McDonald's next to our hotel and no before you ask I don't have shares of McDonald's the amount of times I go there. Right where are we going, where are we going, where are we going? Turn left. No because I put I put New Bridge Road and then put the actual road. Exactly. Quick tip for how you can lengthen your nine hour drive even more. Miss the junction to your hotel. <laughs> We've literally just uh, gone another junction which has killed about 25 miles of fuel. And uh, we're heading back, and now the airport is 10 miles away, so that gives you an indication of the um, journey that we've just done. We've just added 20 miles to our journey by missing a junction, and I'm soaking wet, trying to look to see where we would be going. So we're now at five o'clock. I don't really know what to say. The uh, motorway system in Scotland where our hotel is positioned within two or three junctions of three different motorways we have now experienced going 10 miles past our hotel by missing a junction to have to come 10 miles back to then have three different options on to get to our business park where the hotel is in guess what happened still in the car. We're going back into the centre of Edinburgh. We're losing fuel, 160 miles of fuel. I really don't know what to say. I was get, I was saying at the beginning of the video, like, whether we regret coming up here. But nine and a half hours in, having missed our turn off twice, and doing two hours of single carriageway looking at sheep. <laughs> It's got to the point now where I've had enough. This is by far the most difficult hotel that we have found, but we have made it. And our fuel range is saying 150 mile range. And we've done it. Easily, 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 easily. We got lost about four times. We've done about 75 miles extra. I reckon we've done nearly 500 miles today. 500 miles today and uh, it is time to get this video uploaded.
Thank you for watching. Proof that you can drive an Audi R8 sensibly and get very, very far on fuel, further than you need to, actually. Make sure you subscribe to Supercars of London. Tomorrow is going to be mental. Dumble 3000 comes to Edinburgh.